This is just one piece of a multi-part course. If you're interested in more, check out tunefiles.com. To continue, we want to go in and build up a mouth, which will allow us to invoke certain phonemes or mouth poses, so that way we can sync up the mouth with a voice when animating. And the good thing about vectors is we can create an interpolated mouth, which basically means Moho will animate in between the keys for us. It won't be just a direct switch. You'll actually see some animation as it goes from pose to pose. And there are some things we need to keep in mind when doing this. So let's first jump over here to our layers. And I'm just going to close the actions panel for this as I don't need it. And let's locate the mouth. You'll see it's right here. Now, when it comes to working with this, we're going to set up a switch that's going to have multiple masked groups. And these masked groups are going to represent the different mouth poses. And so if I just click once on mouth, I can rename it to AI and hit enter. Next, I'm going to right click on AI and choose group with selection. And then I'll rename this new layer to mouth and hit enter. From here, we'll make each new phoneme or mouth pose its own group within the mouth. The one thing you must keep in mind when interpolating a mouth with vectors is that each group or vector must be identical in terms of points. If you add or take away points from any of these poses you're about to copy and create, then the interpolated effect will break and you'll simply end up with a switch effect. So let's go ahead and duplicate AI and rename this one to E and then hit enter. Within E, first, let me hide AI just so I can kind of see what I'm doing here. And we will be bringing AI back to use as a reference, but I just want to show you what we're going to do. Come into E, and we want to take the bottom of the mouth and just raise it up a little bit because we want to create an E sound with the mouth. And it's going to be just slightly more closed compared to the A sound. So we have something like that, and I can come in and grab those bottom teeth and just bring them up like so. And that should be all that we really need to do with this. Of course, you could go further and let's say we wanted to animate the chin. You could definitely do that. In fact, you could set up the whole face to be connected to the mouth. So in that case, I could easily just grab the points here for the chin and move it up and you would have an animatable jaw to go along with the mouth. But again, it just depends on how you want to approach all this. So if we come back here, you can see the difference if I bring back AI versus E. So you go from E to A and it's starting to shape up. Next, we want to just keep building this. So let's come over here to the E sound and I'm going to duplicate it and rename it to ETC. And let's just hide the E layer once again and I can come in here and starting with the opening I'm going to come in and move this up just a little bit it's not going to be a whole lot it's just a little bit to differentiate it from the E pose something like that then I'm going to come in and grab that bottom teeth layer and with my points here just bring it up and it's not going to quite connect so I'm going to have to give it a little bit of help by coming in here and just moving my points up. And I don't have to go as far. I can maybe go about like that and then go to the top teeth and then have them meet the rest of the way. It's kind of something like that. And just come in and meet like that. So now we can come back here. We have an ETC or teeth or s or t sound and we can kind of see where this is starting to lead into 
Next, let's do an O or O sound. I can duplicate the Eve hose and I'll name it O. Come in here, let's go to the mouth opening and we're going to compress the mouth opening. So I'll select all the points with the transform points tool and I'm just going to scale things back. I can hide E just to make this a little bit easier and just bring it over like so. I'm also going to come in and just kind of adjust things a little bit. Kind of like that. Can maybe even bring it down a little bit more. There we are. And for the teeth, they'll still be there, but I'm just going to minimize them. Kind of like that. And everything else is looking pretty good. The tongue could have a little bit more presence if you desire. You can just kind of come in and go like that. But you now have an O shape. We can close that. And things are starting to shape up. We could also do an U or QUW sound based off of O just to give us more variety for those types of sounds. So I can duplicate O and name this one QUW, hit enter, and then just come in here to QUW. And it doesn't have to be much of a change, but maybe just come in and we can kind of work something out like this. Kind of put it in a little bit more. And with this one, I can maybe remove the teeth. Or at least have them very, very minimized. And again, it's just to add a little bit more variety. Kind of having that Q shape. There we go. And again, it's pretty similar to the O as you can see, but again, it just gives you more variety. Let's go ahead and do a TH sound. I'll duplicate the AI pose for this. I can name it TH and hit enter. We'll just bring it in, come in here, and with the opening, I'm just going to shrink things up a little bit, maybe about like that. And for the bottom teeth, I can bring those up just a little bit. And for the tongue, I'm just going to come in here and kind of bring it up like this. Because when we do the TH sound, we press our tongue against the top teeth typically in order to create that sound. The thing is, you really want to keep everything the same in between all of these layers. You don't want to add anything. You don't want to subtract anything or else it will not interpolate correctly. All right, so now with the TH sound, we can collapse that. And let's go ahead and duplicate AI again and make this one FV and hit enter. Now FV is just when you make an F sound. We need to bring the bottom part of the mouth up to the top teeth. So we'll go to that opening and just grab this and bring it up. And do something like that. And you could do a little bit more with this if you wish, but really that's all we need to do. Should be good to go. And I can do one more pose here. Let's come in and just duplicate the ETC pose. And I'll name this one closed and hit enter. And closed is what you might expect, the mouth being closed. So I'm just going to come in I'll bring this up a little bit like that and I can just come up and we're just going to bring these points up as close as we can to the top. So just kind of bring everything up like that. Again, it might look a little bit weird at first, but 
it should work for what we're planning to do. And I can also select those points and maybe move it down a little bit. So it looks like that. We could also come in and maybe shrink it in a little bit and move it over like that. So there we go. Now we will have to go through and do some other little minor things such as the lines here. It might be best when you are moving your mouth around to pay attention to these. So for instance, I've shrunk the mouth and so it might be best to come in here now and just bring that stuff in. We can leave that bottom line where it's at. Unless if you plan to animate the chin, then you can go in and do different things. But like right here with QUW, probably best just to come in here and grab these points and just move it over like so. It doesn't require much. You just want to keep it in line with the mouth. That's looking pretty good. Also looking fine. That's looking pretty good. And that's also looking fine. And there you go. We now have all of the mouth poses established. The last thing we need to do is re-enable the visibility on all of these poses. Come over here to the mouth and right click and we want to convert it to a switch. A switch will only show one of these layers at any given time. So if I come in here, let's say to frame four, I could right click on mouth and go to QUW and then go to E and you can see now that it's swapping. Now I mentioned the interpolation. You can see right now it's just doing a standard swap just like that, but if I were to double click on mouth and on the layer settings at the top, you'll find switch. Click on that. And here we have interpolate sub layers. Click on that and hit OK. So now if we go through here, you can see that we are interpolating at least for the most part. Let me come back here and try that again. So if we start at frame one, we can enter in the closed pose go to frame six and it's ETC. And you can see here now, as we go through and start adding these in, that it's going to interpolate. So if you go from here to here, it's going to animate. And this is really, really nice because it just allows you to create nice, quick, fluid motions with your mouth without having to worry too much about what's going on. Now, again, if you're not getting this result, you may have accidentally added points or removed points on any of these layers. And if there's any difference between points in that regard, between these assets, you're not going to be able to get it to interpolate like this. So that's why it's really important that you build your mouth up like we did in the previous course for the animation work. And once you're ready, you go in and you get the work done because after that, you might have issues if you've done other changes to it. So anyway, we now have the mouth in place. We're going to pause here and up next, keep working on the rig. To view the rest of this course or gain access to the source files, visit tunefiles.com.